Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. In this video, we'll talk about recursion. Oh, we have talked about that in the previous video, right? Okay, so we'll try to solve a problem with the help of recursion. And for that, I will use a very simple example, which is factorial. So first understand what is factorial here. So let's go back to the slate and let's tr try to understand what is factorial. So first of all, how do you find a factorial? So what is factorial? So let's say I want to find the factorial of five. Now how it works is this is a symbol we use, right? We use exclamation there. Okay, so how do we do that? So we, if you want to find a factorial of five, it's very simple. You do that by saying five into four into three into two into one, right? That's the formula we use. And once you solve this, of course, you will get the answer. Now, if you want, first of all, the answer is 120. You can just try it out. I guess it's 120. Okay, so that's the answer, right? So once you want to find a factorial of five, this is what you do. You try to get the answer. Okay, but if you want to represent that in a numerical format or the mathematical formula, so let's say I want to find the factorial of n, right? So I just want to generalize it. So what could be a formula for that? So that is n into, so if you look at four, that is n minus one, right? And then you multiply this by n minus two, you multiply this by n minus three, and then list goes on, right? You do that till you have uh, n minus n factorial. Now, what about n minus n? n minus n is zero, right? So the idea is the value of a zero factorial is one. Okay, that's for sure. You can just take that as, as it is. So value for zero factorial is one. And now, uh, if you try to understand this into one more parameter, is if you look at this thing, you know, when you say five into four into three into two into one, if you just observe this pattern here, four into three into two into one, can you say this is four factorial? Looks like, right? Because when you say four factorial, it will be four into three into two into one. How about this part, the part from three to one, it is three factorial. So can I actually say is five factorial is equal to five into four factorial? We can, right? In the same way, if you want to represent that in the mathematical formula, you can say n into n minus one factorial. So basically what we are doing is we are trying to find a factorial with a number. And then the formula is that number with the number minus one factorial. It's that simple. Okay, uh, how do we use recursion here? Uh, if you really think about this, this is actually recursion, right? You are finding n factorial. For that, you have to find n minus 1 factorial. For n minus 1, you can say, okay, it's n minus 1. So if you look at this one, this is actually n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. So basically, if you define this thing as a function of n, we just have to call the same function again and again. Simple, right? The same thing you're doing in the code now. How will you do it? It's very simple. Uh, okay, how do we do that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so if you want to do that, which we have written in the slate into this code, first of all, we have to get a function, right? Using which you can find a factorial of a number. How do we do that? It's very simple. You say function and you define a function name as, as fact and you can pass a value. Let's say, let's go with n here. And then in this function, I want to perform the operation. Basically, I have to find the factorial itself. So basically, I want to return n into n minus one factorial. That's it. This is what we have done in the on the slate, right? So n factorial is n into n minus one factorial. If I can get that, I got my answer. Okay, let's try. Uh, so basically here, first of all, we need a number. So let's say num is equal to which factorial I want to find. Let's, let's go with five, just to keep it simple. And I want to save that result in result itself. And which function I was going to call, I was going to call fact by passing num. Simple stuff, right? And at the end, I want to print the result. And that's it. That should be the factorial value. Now, the question is, will this code work? Let's try. Let's try and see what it says. If you run this code, you got an error. It says unexpected token, the exclamation mark. See, that's the thing, right? We have to define this thing. We are saying n minus one factorial. Don't you think we are doing that with the help of function? So instead of doing that, we can simply say fact, that's the factorial of n minus one. The same thing, right? n minus one factorial is same as fact n minus one because that is what we are defining here. Okay, and this should work now. I feel this should work. Okay, let's see what happens if, if I do that. If I do that, oh, we got an error. 
it says maximum call stack size exceeded. Can you remember something in the last video we have talked about, right? Right. Basically, what we are doing is we are calling a function within a function. This is recursion. And of course, we do this continuously. All the calls will be there in the stack. And there will be one point where the stack will be full. That is what is happening here. Okay, so we have to stop it somewhere. But at what point you're going to stop? So if you look at the slate, we are supposed to stop at zero because zero factorial is one. Okay, so we have to stop it somewhere. How about this? We will do this. We'll turn in the else part. And in the if part, we'll check if the value of n is it should be if it is equal to zero because at one point when you say minus 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 at one point the value of n will be zero so at this point just return one that's it and then else part so what will happen now is for the factorial of five we are saying because five is greater than zero so it's five into four factorial right so we are finding the factorial of four okay so how will it will look like now is when we are calling a factorial for the first time so it will say fact of five so basically it will go into a stack so imagine this is a stack so this will go into stack and then when we say factorial of four it will create one more entry in a fact we'll say fact of four now this function is still into running phase okay this is still running and then i mean running with it is actually waiting for factorial of four to be end now for factorial four this, the same thing will happen right so when you say factorial of four it will go inside and it will check uh is it zero no so it will say okay four into factorial of three so there's a new call of factorial of three and then there will be a new call of factorial of two the new call of factorial of one and then there will be a new call of factorial of zero that's the call stack you have right now this will return one so this goes here this will return one this goes here this will return two because two into one is two and then this goes here this will return six this goes here so now we got six into four which goes here which is five into what is six into four it's 24 and then the answer ultimately you will get is 120. Well, that's how you end the factorial thing. That's recursion, function calling itself. And now let's try to run this code and let's see what happens. So if I say enter and you can see we got the answer. So that's simple. Okay, so basically that's how you got the answer, right? Now there are two versions of recursion, factorial recursion in this playlist. You can also, uh, in this channel actually, I have made a recursion video for Python as well. You can check that out with a different style. I tried something else uh, this time and whatever you prefer, that's your choice. Okay, but yeah, we got the answer. So every time you want to find a factorial, the beauty is you can change this value to anything, maybe four, and you can find a factorial, you will get 24. The only problem is you can't just go with a very big number. So I tried with 179, I think it works with, with that number. Oh, even 179 doesn't work. There's a last number which you can try. I forgot which number it was. Somewhere 70, maybe 170 is that number. Oh, that's right. So it is 170. So even if you try for 171, uh, the range exceeds and you can see you got infinity. But yeah, so you can, this is the big number. Okay, very big number. It's epsilon of 306. 10 into 306, that's a very big number. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.